What's up, chaps and chapettes? It's your boy, M. Birchie. So I'm back with another Road to Glory. You're probably thinking, what are you doing, mate? You've literally just made the Pep Guardiola Road to Glory, and you're already starting a new one. You've already given off. I mean, to be fair, that's not too far from pretty much my whole YouTube channel summed up. We're running the two Road to Glories together. 80 games of foot champs. How the hell are you going to do that? So at least for the first week, the way that this is going to work is I'll play 10 games on the Pep Guardiola Road to Glory, 10 games on the Jose Mourinho Road to Glory. So I could basically complete all of the games for the Road to Glory that has the most wins. But next weekend, I think I'll judge it off 20 games instead of 10. Only reason I'm doing 10 is because I don't have that much time to play for champions this weekend. Of course, before we get into it, we have to qualify with this new account, the Jose Mourinho Road to Glory. So let's get stuck in your moppers. So starting off, just to say, we basically have exactly the same system as what we had in the Pep Guardiola video. So we start off with 20,000 coins and then 20,000 more if we win the daily knockout tournament. So I was actually quite literally going to not do it if I didn't qualify. So... I guess I've already given it away. I don't know why I've said that. <laughs> why? I've just literally ruined it. But, I mean, why would I upload it if I didn't qualify anyway? So, I guess it's kind of obvious anyway. Nonetheless, though, we have the Wolves kit as the home kit. We have Zurich. Been to Zurich in Switzerland. Pretty nice place. In fact, a really nice place. Can't be, can't be giving it low ratings, man. It is incredible. Really nice. Definitely recommend the visit. So... We create the squad, you know, 200 coins, um, and then we get 20,000 coins straight into the door and then build the squad. Problem was, is that we're not getting stuck straight into the squad because we're having to buy a lot of silver players. There was, I think, four players, or gold players, that you could use in the tournament, which is unlike a lot of tournaments that you'll see, daily knockout tournaments. So starting off with custom tactics, though, so, just to explain, I mean, I'll briefly explain. 38 passing is the only one that I'll explain there, to be honest. Well, actually, uh, 38 passing on chance creation and 60 pressure. So, with the custom tactics, you might think that 60 pressure is too much. The reason why it's not, though, is because you play reasonably high, but you go ultra defensive, so there's people that are tracking back and staying back as well. And then the 38 passing is basically less risk. That passing stat represents the amount of risk and how many players are going to flood forward. And 38 is quite low because, obviously, the Mourinho teams are usually quite passive instead of super aggressive in terms of going forward for attacks. So it's going to be interesting trying to emulate the tactics. I feel like it is actually easier to get Mourinho's tactics than it is Guardiola's because... Guardiola's is kind of like all over the place and it kind of interchanges between almost like I think two at the back sometimes honestly it's kind of crazy but with a 4-2-3-1 you've basically got three center attacking mids the one on the right is kind of like a free roam attacking mid who kind of plays like how Mata plays in Man United basically the right back and left back I've actually kept them on uh, balanced the CDM on the right I've kept them on balanced uh, relatively although if you don't want to get the specific instructions, as you can see, I previously showed you, but, like, just pause it individual bits because I, it's hard to, like, scan through it all at the same time. But, nonetheless, we need to buy some players, basically. So, we're starting off with Wayne Rooney, middle centre attacking mid, obviously played for Man United. I think he's just a decent all-round player for the price because, at the end of the day, we've only got 20k to build a squad. And the amount of players, and this is one of the problems as well. Is that the daily knockout tournament at the time, uh, obviously everyone was doing it. So the silver players are going for a hell of a lot of coins. And yeah, it was a pretty much just an absolute mess. I mean, look at this. We're spending 700 coins on a silver player, which, um, I mean, it's a means to an end to an extent in terms of just getting the daily knockout tournament. And then he's gone, just release him to the Kraken or whatever. So Domit, you know, he'll have his time. It'll be four games and then that'll be it. I hate to see him go like that. I mean, he's only 70 pace, so... I mean, it's probably best that he, we let him go quite happily too. So, I mean, Watson as well, 50 pace. Shocking. And then this lad... Uh, it's just... This, it honestly is so annoying that the tournament was silvers. Uh, because I'm having to waste all these coins, effectively. But, like I, say, like I said in the previous episode or whatever, it does mean that it is slightly easier to qualify because it means we're not going to come up against full teams of icons that doesn't mean that they can't use icons because i did still come across teams with icon cards in there so i actually realized at this point i need to take that gold guy off the bench i think it was noble um and then we're ready to get stuck into the daily knockout tournament so the first team that we come up against 
It was pretty insane to say the least. I mean, he's got Golan, Mertens and Lukaku from free. Um, some decent silver informs in there. Of course, you can use silvers as much as you like. And we're just, we're playing a very solid, you know, defensive line or whatever. We're sitting ultra defensive right from the start of the game. And uh, it's very different to Guardiola. Let's just say that. Like, Guardiola, you know, you, you're passing it around. You're controlling the game. But you are kind of doing the same. With uh, with these taxes, you can see 62% possession, but you're not creating as much chances and you're not going for it as much because you've still got that defensive solid foundation. And I honestly feel like, I feel like if I had to predict uh, what record is going to be the better one, I'd say probably Mourinho because, purely because... Uh, the defense is just is is so much easier to implement Mourinho's style than it is Guardiola's on this on this game uh, because the four two three one is the exact system that Mourinho uses and you can you can emulate it as much better basically but we we go one the up of course Berahino scoring the goal he's trying it on a counter attack here Lukaku I think we were just a little bit too exposed there nine Golan top bins I mean that is a hell of a finish but we've got to be doing better you've got to be asking questions of a defense. I'm sure the board of directors weren't too happy with that one, giving him the sack. In fact, it wasn't even Mourinho um, on the bench or whatever, or as the manager at this point, you know, blame it on whoever it was. So, Cook trying it down this left-hand side with talking 83rd minute. Berahino, well, actually 82nd minute. Berahino tucking it away to make it 2-1, which we'll certainly take. That is pretty lit. And then we also get an achievement just solidifying the fact that this is, of course, a fresh new account. Wayne Rooney tucking it away. 3-1 game set match. Wayne Rooney's definitely got a vibe about him. Like I just love um I think um I think even Huge Gorilla once used him as like a CDM back in like FIFA 16 or 17 just because his long shots are so good. Although his stats have gone down quite a bit. Uh he's still he's still got that decent shooting and a decent finishing, especially for a midfielder. So once again though another sick team. I could see he was using a 4-1-2-1-2. Which means that we're able to sort of control the midfield. Now, you might... I don't know. I think Mourinho kind of has a bit of a reputation for, like, parking a bus. But you have to you have to remember that he's not literally parking the bus every single game and against every opponent. Like, for example... I saw it's really good. Like, because obviously I said with the Pep Guardiola video that I've kind of been analysing, like, Pep Guardiola games and stuff like that. With, with the uh, Mourinho games, I saw one against Leicester, and Leicester were parking it on them, believe it or not, with like a 4-4-2, and Mourinho was playing kind of like high pressure, using the right back and left backs to come forward, so that's why we kept some on balanced attack, and if we come up against someone who's abusing the wings a bit more, then perhaps you could put it as stay back while attacking, and I think, I think that's kind of advice for a lot of players, you know, you lads playing foot champions or whatever, is like don't just stick to one system and just and just be like or well, one set of player instructions kind of have like a fluid system and um you'll find as well Mourinho does that against other teams is that he'll he'll assess the team that he's up against and he'll say you know the pace of Eden Hazard on the left or whatever and then he'll put someone there to sort of stay on him it was always like I come in that match it was like Herrera was on one player and everyone was talking about it, but you know he'll 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 do a lot of man marking and uh, taking people out of the game and playing very specific to the opponents he's playing type stuff. So yeah, uh, we get f we win the game four two. This lad scoring a banging goal. He basically just scored two goals right at the end of the game. Inconsequential stuff. You know it's nothing going to come from that at all. Um, Antonio, we decide to get this lad up top because. Obviously, Berahino's not the best, although we don't, like, get any coins for him, of course. We just, like, put him in a club because he's untradeable. But that's the thing with Antonio. Like, he's got... I think he's got four-star skills. I don't know whether he's got four-star weak for, but he's got decent heading accuracy. He's pretty strong. And also, with a hunt, he can get him to, like, 95 pace or something like that. So, this game was a bit more of a tight game. Obviously, the further... I guess the further you progress in the daily knockout tournament, the better opponents that you're going to play... This lad was pretty solid for the most part. He was keeping me out. Although I was wasting a lot of chances. You see there, Wayne Rooney, man. He's got to be tucking that away. He literally just, like, lunges forward. And, uh, yeah, didn't really deal with it like he should have. But Loftus Cheek, you know, tucking it away. It was actually pretty decent. I mean, he gets 69% possession. 
ironic number of course and then um yeah we just pretty much absolutely wrecked him as loftus cheek gets another chance antonio of all lads of course he gets his first goal for the club which is a pretty decent one as well the ball across nice and then yeah just tucks it away so 2-0 and this is what i like about this team is you kind of have more confidence in attack because you know that your defense is there like sitting nice and cozy it's kind of like the opposite you know of liverpool who have got a sick attack and then you know you can imagine the players in real life like Firmino and stuff just panicking every time the ball goes down the other end of a pitch because shock and defense say the least so we're into the final you know sitting nice and cozy we decide to get Chris Smalling because obviously we got a bit of coinage in the bank, you might say, ready to splash. So we get Chris Smalling, we get rid of Phil Jones. I would have liked to keep, uh, kept, kept? I would have liked to have kept Phil Jones. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, he's got to go and we're only like four gold players. But look at that team, like as if, as if we would meet a sweaty player like that in a daily knockout tournament. Every single player with a training card on him. Now, I don't know, that basically elevates them to at least a gold uh, a gold team. Uh, probably more than that, to be honest, because the pace is going up, the dribbling, the shooting, and some of them had gold training cards on them, which means probably all of the stats are up by at least 10. So we had a very, get, a very clear game plan. I'm choking on now. Um, a very clear game plan from minute one. You know, it was kind of like what Mourinho would usually do. You go... You go to the Emirates or whatever, you assess their team, 71% possession. We took the game out of um, out of their hands because we knew that if they have a lot of the ball, they're going to score. So we uh, we basically just kind of worked to nullify their attack. Now, a couple of times... Wow, the camera just cut out. I think we're still in sync. I better press play quick, actually. Um, all right, back to where we were. Literally, it just said to stop recording or whatever. Nil, nil. 59th minute now into the 69th he's got the header away we've got the very clear game plan like i was saying just sort of trying to see it out wayne rooney trying a beautiful finesse you know not quite hadara coming down this left hand side as we get carol skipping away shot on and then it's saved by david de gea and it's literally just like the game against arsenal coming up with the six saves hadara he's really piling on the pressure at this point salah just wide He's, he's basically almost all, I'd say like ultra attack or something like that. Sane just wide in the 90th minute. It's all out, it literally is all out nasty zombie survival at this point. Trying to make it through the rounds. Um, yeah, we're just sitting nice and cozy, camping it out you might say. So Wayne Rooney on the edge of a box, gives it to Loftus-Cheek, gets the return. If I'd have cut that inside and then hit that with my right, I guarantee that's a goal. Not quite able to do it there. Antonio on for Wayne Rooney. Cuts away, gets goal side of Azp, And then the finesse shot, unfortunately, hits the bar. If that went in, that would have been beautiful. Into the second half of extra time. Obviously, if we don't score soon, it's going to penalties. So straight off the kickoff, we decide to go for it, lads. Although, I say that, it's not like we're going all out of tag. We're still on ultra defensive, obviously, because you got to be sitting nice and cozy. But Loftus-Cheek, little one-twos with Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney's just looking for a bit of support. Gets the one-two off. Rooney with a return and he tucks it home. 107 minutes on the clock, boys. And girls, of course. Some watching. Wayne Rooney tucking it away. What a goal, man. What a goal. Literally. And then he's not giving up there. We're, we're still ultra defense. You know, just in case there's any, any doubts. What a save by David De Gea. Yet again. I don't know how he's doing it. Header on there, cleared away. Antonio trying it on the counter charge. Hadara going in. Antonio nicks it. He's not letting Aspi get to this. He's on. He's on the go, man. Look at him, fast as you'd like. Look, gets the ball across. Unable to pick him out. Unfortunately, there's no David Silver or anything like that. Passing ability not quite there. We see it out to the corner flag. As Jose Mourinho might do, you know. Uh, but apparently we don't have a strength because he's got stack cards everywhere. He gets a shot away though. Off the, pot, off the uh, bar there. Literally, I think that hit some defender's leg. And then saved by De Gea. You know, if there was any doubt that David De Gea can make a banging save from this game. We welly it away twice, you might say. We take down. I think Sane trying to receive the ball there. Wayne Rooney obviously taking the legs. Red card for your boy. Uh, I think we can actually do a method where we can like get rid of that red card anyway. So, doesn't really matter. He tries getting up the pitch. The whistle's blown, 
And there you have it. We get the one nil victory. I honestly don't know how we managed that. Pot, we basically parked the bus on them. Uh, took, took their chances out of the game because we knew that the team we're up against is at least double our ability. You know, it's the kind of thing where if you try to play a normal game, it would just outpace you, strength you off the ball, all of the rest of that, like win every aerial battle. So we had to play the way that we did. You know, Jose Mourinho, tactician, you might say. And uh, we're through to the Foot Champions uh, tournament. The main tournament. So that brings us to this weekend, of course, where I'm going to be playing 10 games with Pep Guardiola and his team, and then 10 games with the Jose Mourinho team. After those 10 games, if Mourinho has a better record, we'll finish all of the games with him and vice versa. Another quick note as well, those two lads literally on exactly the same wavelength as me. They were saying that um, you should have players from Pep Guardiola's previous teams as well as obviously for this it could be Jose Mourinho's previous teams but at least for this weekend I'm not going to do that because value for money is kind of hard to achieve that but yes. going into the next weekend is definitely something we could sort of think about so thanks for watching of course I'll see you on the next Emberge episode you absolute chaps and chap heads you look says you look says you look says. You look says. Hey, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Boys, can we get some hashtag hype in stream? Aren't you just the sweetest thing? Aren't you just the sweetest thing? Boys, can we get some hashtag hype in stream? Boys, can we get some hashtag hype in stream?